bless you for watching. Feel free to share and invite somebody to watch. And they will be blessed. God bless you. Worship the Lord wherever you are. God bless you all. With all my heart. Yes, Lord. I will mm -hmm. lift up holy hands. I will give you all the thanks. With all my heart. With all my heart. No other friend I know. No other yes, Lord. Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Shanda Rabosa. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all. But Jesus. Feel free to share the video, invite somebody, and they'll be blessed. Good morning, everybody. It's good to be here. With all my heart. Yeah. No other name I know. Just worship the Lord wherever you are. Just give him all the praise. No other friend I know. But Jesus. Yes, Lord. Just worship the Lord, everybody. <laughs> Filling my heart with joy. Thank you, Jesus. I love you more and more, Lord. Just worship the Lord. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh, this part of this song. It does something to me. There's no friend like Jesus. No, not what? No, not what? There's nobody like Jesus. No friend like him. Rabba Shaha Lehehe. Rabba Hando Robo Shaha. Irase Kelebo Shaha. Thank you, Jesus. No, not what? Oh, I love you, Jesus. Roba Shantaha. God bless you. God bless you all. Hey, God bless you all. Oh, Jesus. The presence is so strong already. I love you. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. <laughs> just worship. Just worship. Just worship. I love you more and more. No other love I know but Jesus. Invite somebody. Invite somebody to watch, and they'll be blessed. Yes, Lord. So God has a message for you today. Let me lower this music a little bit. How is everybody doing today? God bless you for watching. Um, There's a powerful message for you today. A message that will change your life, that will change your prayer life. 
that will change the way you see God, that will make you even love God more, that will bring you closer to God. Mm. It is well with you. So this morning I woke up and I was getting ready to, let me see, what's this? Facebook is doing some things I don't understand. So my son, um, I was getting ready to, you know, prepare my son for school. And I just had a strong leading to read the Bible. And suddenly this Luke chapter 18 came to my spirit. And the moment I opened it to read it, because you know, sometimes if you, if you have a leading to read, is maybe God is trying to tell you something or... Maybe God is trying to tell you something or, you know, with me, that's how it works. And I'm very spiritual. I know how to communicate with God. So if he's giving me a leading, most times I want him to tell me where he wants me to read. Even you, you can do it. I've told you guys how to, I've taught you guys so many things when it comes to the Holy Spirit. If you don't know what to read, like say you wake up in the morning and you just feel like you should read the Bible. You're not sure where to read. Do you know you can actually say, Holy Spirit, lead me? Or where should I read? You know, like, and he will tell you. Suddenly, it's like a chapter will just come to you. Sometimes it just comes to you. Or sometimes you can even close your eyes and open your Bible and it will land you at the spot that you want to, to read. If you're filled with the Holy Ghost, he's always with you. He's inside of you. He lives in you. He's part of you. He hears everything. He even knows your secret thoughts that the, the <laughs> what you're thinking he knows sometimes i may not be speaking I'm, but i'm communicating with the holy spirit but i'm not speaking i'm just thinking you understand and when the spirit of god leads you to a particular scripture it will make sense to you at that time the way you will understand it will be so different because he's the one teaching you as you're reading it and there'll be understanding there will just be like revelation it's like maybe you've read it before right You've read it so many times before, but you did not understand it like that. But that particular day, because you were led to read it, you will understand that scripture. It's like there's somebody explaining it to you. Your understanding will open. It will even be more interesting. It will reveal things to you that just reading it. See, I could be reading a scripture. Me and you are reading the same scripture, but I'm getting so many different revelations from it. You're reading the same scripture as me. But I'm getting, and I'm like, I'm like, wow, wow, because the Spirit of God is helping me at that time. And you know, most of my videos, I try this with you guys. And you guys have seen the power of God move. I'm going to try it again. I'm led to do it again here. Robash Shandaha. Oh, I love this song. It does something to me. Before I start, I want you to try something. Because some of you are filled with the Holy Ghost, but you don't. You don't really allow him take over you. You don't you don't allow him do his job in your life. You don't allow him lead you. You don't allow him do the work that God sent him to do. You just get filled with it and that's it. You don't want to listen to the Holy Spirit. You don't want to you don't want to obey what he's telling you to do. You just you grieve him. It's almost like you don't have the Holy Ghost, but you do. You don't even know how to get his attention. You don't even know how to involve him in what you're doing. The Spirit doesn't force himself on anybody. But he likes it when you acknowledge him. He's telling me, he says, he likes to be acknowledged. He likes to be acknowledged. He likes to be acknowledged. See, sometimes I'll just say, thank you, Holy Spirit. Without you, I couldn't have done all this. Thank you for being a part of me. Thank you for teaching me these things. Thank you for helping me. I just like to acknowledge him. I like to know that he's there. I just like him to know that I know that he's there with me. You know what I mean? So today, I want you guys to try something. God bless you all. Share the video. Invite somebody. I want you guys to try something. Before I start it. It's telling me there's some people that need to rededicate their life to God. There's some people that need to ask for mercy. There's some people that need to be born again. So we're going to say the salvation prayer now. Because some of you know what I'm talking about. Like, 
you are not in you are not in good standing with God right now because you know what you did right so say this prayer say this prayer after me see my videos are very spiritual so everything I'm saying is the spirit that is leading me to say it I may be laughing but I'm actually telling you what the spirit is telling me to say so I want you to say this prayer after me if you're not sure if you're in good standing with God still say it because what I'm about to do I want you to take part I want you to I want it to also affect you I want you to see how 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 the spirit of God works in you like how you can call him up how you can invite him to take over you and stuff and it works some of you have already tried that with me on my videos, so you know what I'm about to do. But let's go ahead and say the salvation prayer. In case you have not made peace with God, if this is your first time saying it, or if you've said it before, but somehow something happened and you've sinned, see, God is merciful. God will forgive you. God doesn't want anybody to perish. He wants us to make heaven. He loves us so much. Like He wants you to come to him, draw nigh to him. And he will draw an eye to you. He wants him to come to you. Come to come, he wants you to come to him so he can change your life. So he can give you a, a, a good life, you know. A fulfilled life. A, a, a life that you are meant to live. Not this one that you're living without God. This is a, like a, a suffering life that you're living without God. So say this prayer after me. Say, Father Lord, I come into your presence. Say it if you want to participate in what I'm about to do with you. Say, Father Lord, I come into your presence as a sinner. I confess all my sins. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better. I promise not to go back to my old ways. I believe that Jesus Christ came and died for me on the cross of Calvary so that my sins can be wiped away. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Be the Lord over my life. I promise to serve you forever and ever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive peace right now in the name of Jesus. If you say that prayer, there's this peace that will just come over you. Like sudden peace. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you to be filled with the Holy Ghost. If you said that prayer, put your hand on the screen of the phone. Father, I know you are happy. You're happy that they've given their lives to God, that they've repented. Give them the gift of the Holy Ghost. If you say this prayer, be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. That of all Shaha. If you say this prayer, just begin to worship the Lord. Just tell him thank you for your life, for your new life. Just thank him. Just worship him. Just give him all the praise. Give him all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Just tell him thank you. He's happy. Actually, they're having a big celebration in heaven because of you. Because you said this prayer. God knows the people that said it from their heart. God knows the people that have truly repented. God knows the people that were just saying it because they needed to say it. God knows the people that are planning to go back to sin in a few hours you see God God doesn't look at what we see he looks inward your heart he knows what you're thinking so I'm hoping that all of you said it from your heart so now I want to do what I want to do I'm just trying to tell you how you know that you have the Spirit of God in you and how you can always call him up to help you do something how you can you can make him a part of your life how you can acknowledge him how you can live with him how you can how you can do things with his help how you don't have to do things on your own so all of you i need you to make sure you are in a quiet place right now make sure you're in a quiet place right now thank you holy spirit make sure you're in a quiet place right now make sure you're in a quiet place if you're at work that's fine but if you're home no distractions no distractions. Just focus right now. No distraction. Just focus. Just focus. Just focus. Don't think of anything right now. Just think about Jesus. Don't think about the bills. Don't think about your husband, your wife, your kids. No, none of those. Just think about Jesus. Just think about Jesus. 
Just think about Jesus. Clear your head. Don't be thinking about all these things. Don't, don't worry about those things right now. Now I want you to say this prayer. I want you to say this prayer. All of you. Say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. You can type it if you want, but say it. I mean it. Say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. And watch what will happen. Some of you will start to feel chills all over your body. Some of you will have goosebumps. Some of you will feel heat in your back. In fact, let me turn off the music. I want you to focus. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel movement like, like the hair on your body is raising up. Some of you will start feeling cold. Some of you will feel these chills. Some of you will feel heat in your body. Some of you will suddenly start speaking in tongues. Some of you will just start feeling like there's a presence. It's already happening. It happened instantly for some people. Just focus. You will know you have the Holy Ghost in you. Some of you are surprised that it's happening so fast. Some of you even start to cry. See, somebody said, I just got chill. Hallelujah. You see how fast they work? Mm -hmm. You see? Some of you, your, the hair on your body is raising. Some of you have these chills. Some of you have this heat, like inside your body. You see? You're surprised. Some of you are surprised, right, that it's happening. <laughs> Some of you start to cry because you didn't think it would work, but it worked. <laughs> Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. See, you're acknowledging him. He's always there. But now you are acknowledging him. And you are giving him the right to take over you right now. Tell us how you're feeling. See, I'm reading your comments. Lynn says, chills all over me. Mona says, I'm shaking right now. Telma says, so much heat on my back. Lisa says, I feel it. Wow. Are you guys seeing already? So quick. It, it, it didn't take time. Now you believe he's always with you. He was waiting for you to say it because he's with you. He's watching the video with you. He's listening to what I'm saying. Like he's here. <laughs> See, some people say, I just started feeling cold. Nancy say, I'm feeling cold. Are you seeing? I had to turn off the music for a reason. So you won't think it's the music that is making you feel like that. No music, but you feel it. Wow. Wow. I hope you guys are doing it. If you just came on, I am telling them how to invite the Holy Spirit. All you need to do is say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. He knows when you mean it. A lot of them already feel chills. See, I'm, I'm reading your comments. Uh, some of you will start to speak in tongues. Some of you will be crying now because you can't even feel it. You can't believe that you, you felt it. You never even knew you had the Holy Ghost in you. You, you. you thought you didn't have the Holy Ghost and you're feeling something. Some of you, is like from your leg, is like the hair on your legs are raising up. See, somebody say his presence is so strong from age. And if you notice, there's no music on. There's no music on. Because some people think it's only when the music is on that they feel this thing. It could be quiet, but the Spirit of God lives in you. He's always with you. See, somebody says she's feeling heat in the back of her neck. Hallelujah. Are you guys seeing the comments? Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now. In the name of Jesus. If you just came on, say that prayer. Somebody say, I can't believe this. Wow. Fiona say, I can't believe this. Are you guys hearing? Everything I'm telling you is happening. <laughs> Somebody cannot believe it. <laughs> Rabbi Shana, Rabbi Shaha. Monica say, I'm feeling cold and I'm shaking. Forby said, tears in my eyes. Hallelujah. Are you guys seeing the comments? Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now. In the name of Jesus. If you haven't felt it, don't worry, you will. He knows when you say it sincerely. He knows when you mean it. 
Jemima says, oh my God, the Spirit of God is so strong. I feel this cool breeze crying and speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Francis says, I'm feeling chills and goosebumps. That's right. That's to tell you that he's always with you. So if you're thinking you're not filled with the Holy Ghost, you just tried this and you see that you are filled with the Holy Ghost. You just never acknowledge him. You've probably been grieving him. You see why I said the salvation prayer first? So you can be, be at peace with God and the, the spirit can flow freely in you. See, Natasha says, I'm having the tingling feeling from my stomach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, somebody's speaking in tongues. Are you guys reading the comments? Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now. And that's exactly what he's doing. Wow. Victoria said, yes, yes, yes. I just felt him. Chills all over me. And I felt the hair on my skin raise up. Even as I'm talking to you, all the hair on my skin, they're all raised up. <laughs> the presence is so strong on me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, if you just came on, it's okay. Just make sure you have made peace with God. If you haven't, just ask God for forgiveness of sin. And then say this prayer. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Be focused. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. See, God is a spirit. God is everywhere. God knows the people that really want him to take over them. See, somebody say, my mouth is shaking, my body is shaking, and my mouth is moving. How are you all feeling? <laughs> wow. Some people never knew they had the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Even people that are at work, some people can't stop speaking in tongues. Yes, you feel a tingling sensation. That's right. Now you know the Spirit of God is always with you. Wow, 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 wow. Look at all the comments. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Somebody said they feel vibrations in their stomach. A lot of you feel cold. Aha, look at that. Chills. He's telling you he's there with you. He's there with you. Wow. Some people say their legs are numb. Speaking in tongues. Somebody started speaking in tongues immediately. Wow. Have you noticed that I, I turned off the music to tell you that you can always have the presence of God with or without the sound? It's between you and him and your heart. He knows. See, don't grieve the spirit of God. The spirit of God is always with you. The spirit of God is always with you.